Some people think that one day computers will be as intelligent as humans. Do you think that will happen? I don't think so. Hmm. Do you think that will happen? Of course, I'm more intelligent than any TV presenter. <gasps> Ouch, it hurts. Hmm. Well, not really. I'm a robot. <laughs> okay, what is the capital of New Zealand? What kind of question is that? Everybody knows that the capital of New Zealand is Wellington. Okay, what's four times five? Seriously, I'm not a calculator. I'm a robot. I'm capable of doing amazing things. I'm going to answer you just because I know that you are a human who is not capable of answering this question. <gasps> The answer is 20. Who is your father? Tell me more about your family. What? No, no I asked you, who is your father? Tell me more about your family. What? At the moment, computers don't have the general intelligence of humans but they can do some jobs that require specialised intelligence, such as playing board games, speech recognition for telephone answering, analysing buying patterns and making recommendations for online shopping, video games, logistics planning and scheduling, recognising what's in an image, intelligent controllers for driving cars. In this chapter, we'll look at some applications and also think about what it means for software to be intelligent. We'll also think about ethical issues. Do we really want to build something that is as intelligent as us? Do we want to be giving our jobs to robots? Should robots be treated as equals? Mary? Yes? Will you be my friend? Sure thing, Martin. Anyway. Let's start by looking at... Mary? Yes? Will you be my girlfriend? I'll get back to you. Anyway, let's start with some practical applications. 